Hey everybody, Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. <laughs> Man, I am excited to talk about today's conversation about sleeping bags versus quilts, but answer the question of whether or not a quilt truly is lighter than a sleeping bag. Now, I spend a lot of time on YouTube watching different gear videos, and I hear people talk about why they bought a quilt over a sleeping bag, and very often I hear people say that I got a quilt because it's lighter than a sleeping bag, or you should consider a quilt because it's lighter than a sleeping bag. And is that truly the case? Is that a true statement uh, for us to say? With, with no other variables in consideration, the answer to that is yes, a quilt is lighter weight. And it simply comes down to the anatomy of a quilt versus a sleeping bag. Let's move some of these out of the way. When you talk about the differences between a quilt and a sleeping bag, you're literally talking about a removal of fabric from a sleeping bag to make a quilt. So what you have with a quilt is a sleeping bag shaped product, but a full removal of the back panel of the sleeping bag and no hood on the quilt. So this allows for a very non-claustrophobic type of sleeping experience. It opens things up and it's a very comfortable type of experience for your sleeping. When then compared to a sleeping bag, we all know what sleeping bags are like. They've got a hood on the head end and then you've got your typical mummy bag shape, but you've got zippers and a full back piece to it. So it's a full cocoon type of sleeping experience that is not your blanket at home and that kind of thing. So when we talk about ground sleeping and the differences between these two, which one is really better and which one is going to give you better performance? That's a really important thing to consider and think about when you are choosing between one of these two options. So to say that a quilt is lighter than a sleeping bag and that that should be the sole reason that you purchase a quilt is not the right way to go about it, at least in my opinion. So today I did a lot of research, a lot of packing things up into their stuff bags and putting everything onto the scale. We're gonna consult my phone where I took notes of everything. And I did a sample of four different 20 degree range bags and then five different 30 degree range bags. Now the biggest variances that I saw in weights and everything was in the 20 degree range. We're gonna talk about comfort ratings, fill powers and all of that after I share the weights of everything with you and why that's an important part of not only making a decision on a product based off of the weight, but it's down to how it's tested, performance, construction, materials used, all of that kind of stuff. So let's talk about the 20 degree stuff that I have in front of me first. This purple bag is the heaviest bag on the table. It is a 41 ounce, 700 fill power, Sierra Designs backcountry bed. This is the women's version. All of these bags as well are the regular size. So you've got a 41 ounce, 20 degree advertised bag, but a comfort rating at 28 degrees. Your Thermarest Hyperion, which is a 32 degree comfort, but again, 20 degree uh, advertised bag, 23 ounces of weight for the Hyperion, 23 ounces of weight for the UGQ Bandit top quilt, but a comfort rating at 20 degrees. Then your Sierra Designs Nitro here on the end, 20 degree advertised, 800 fill power, and this is 29 ounces. So yes, when you are looking at these four bags, the Bandit, when you look at comfort rating versus the weight, this one wins hands down, just straight up wins. And this would be the choice if you're looking at those aspects. But let's talk about the anatomy of a quilt versus a bag a little bit more and talk about the pros and cons and what you get out of a quilt or out of a sleeping bag that you don't get out of a quilt or a sleeping bag, if that made sense. So with the biggest like elephant in the room when it comes to a bag versus a quilt is the quilt is going to be more to work with. Depending on your sleeping style, 
this may not be the best option for you because you have an open back, you don't have a hood, you're not able to trap as much of that heat that is radiating from your body to keep yourself warm in a quilt because it's not a full enclosure. It's not giving you all of those draft points closed up like you get out of a sleeping bag. Sleeping bag, you zip that thing up, pull that hood over, and truly, like as long as the amount of insulation in there is able to trap enough heat based off of the temperatures outside, you're going to have way better performance out of a sleeping bag. And that is a good reason to consider a sleeping bag if you are a cold sleeper, if you don't have a proper sleeping pad to match what you need to get performance wise out of a quilt, those kinds of things are really, really important to consider. So let's talk about all of the different 30 degree rated quilts and bags that I've got here. Top quilt from Outdoor Vitals, the Stormloft 30 degree, advertised the Bandit top quilt from UGQ 30 degree, advertised 32 Chorus from Thermarest. This is also a quilt. And then the two sleeping bags in this range are the Thermarest Hyperion 32 degree and the Exped UL uh, 32 degree bag as well. So again, talking about comfort ratings versus weight and all of that, all of these have different types of advertisements of what they uh, accomplish. So this Thermarest Hyperion is a 32 degree rated 18 ounce sleeping bag and it has a 900 fill power down inside of it. But when you talk about the comfort rating, this is closer to that 40, 41 degree comfort than compared to like the UGQ Bandit, which they truly do share their advertised temperature ratings as comfort ratings. And this comes in at 20 ounces. So this is heavier in weight in this case compared to the Hyperion where that wasn't necessarily the case with the 20 degree versions. But I know with this 30 degree quilt that if I am able to just get everything dialed in the way that I want it to be and is supposed to be with the proper sleep pad and all that, then this is going to perform at that 30 degree rating no problem, where that is not the case. And from personal experience, dropping below about 40 degrees with the 32 degree advertised Hyperion is not, it's not the case. Now the Chorus, this has a 650 fill power. This came in at 21 ounces of weight and has a 41 degree comfort rating to it, give or take. And then your Exped, this is the heaviest of the 30 degree range. This comes in at 32 ounces. Part of that is this uh, bulky, heavy uh, stuff sack that it's in, but this has a 32 degree comfort on it. And I love this bag. I haven't used it for uh, the last year, but I absolutely love this bag. And then the Outdoor Vitals top quilt, this is an 800 fill power, 30 degree, uh, probably closer to that 40 degree comfort rating but this came in at 18 ounces of total weight. So big picture talking about all of this, what really matters. And honestly, like if weight is that important to you, then buy a quilt because from the research and the, all of what I've done today, a quilt is gonna be lighter in weight, but it's so much more complicated and it's way more important for you to consider all of the different variables that go into what you decide to choose for the sleep system that you want and the performance that you want. I have found personally that I am leaning further away from quilts and more to sleeping bags, even though they are a little bit heavier, but they're less for me to worry about as a ground sleeper with pad straps and just all those things that a quilt uh, requires you to have pay more attention to when you're out on a trip. So pay attention to the weight of the bag decide what type of sleeper you are, side sleeper, do you move around a lot, are you sleeping on your stomach, your back, that kind of thing, and that will help decide what type of product you are going to purchase. Decide on what your budget is. A lot of that is a determining factor on what you are able to afford, and very often it's a sleeping bag versus a quilt based off of your budget, as well as just really what your preference is. Like, just because a quilt is lighter, 
doesn't mean that it is going to be the best option for you. So do your research, think about it, watch gear reviews, and really like get out there and use the product and try to decide what makes the most sense for you. So I hope that this information helps you understand that yes, a quilt is lighter in weight, but is it the best option? In some cases, yes. In other cases, no, a sleeping bag is gonna be better. So thanks for watching today, guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. Hope you have an awesome day. We'll catch you on the next video. See you later.